Leslie, not quite enough dry weather. I hope you can hear me over this rain. <laughs> it is absolutely teeming down here. Fortunately, I don't have to go anywhere for a few minutes. So I am hopeful that I'll find a, a break in the weather at some point. Hope Springs. How are we all? I hope everyone's okay. Thank you for all the, the comments and thoughts on last week's vlog and on the month end podcast. Um, I haven't got to all the comments yet. I, I hope to this weekend. So if I haven't responded yet, apologies. I'll, I'll do that as soon as I can. Oh gosh, as you can hear and possibly see, it's absolutely miserable. We've had a lot of rain here. Um, a lot of surface weather. I wish I'd recorded the dog this morning because I offered her to go out in the garden, open the door, she ran towards it and did a quick 360, uh, 180 and back again. So, <laughs> all good fun. Uh, Craft-wise, I have finished the blue boucle uh, jacket that I was making. Finished that during knit night last night, so that's good. I will show you that a little later. And I have started a pair of gloves. I said I was going to make a gloves with that... Um, Oh gosh, what are they called? Black elephant, the yarn, urban elephant. Oh, I've got the tag. Um, 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 uh, black elephant yarn. Um, which has picked up beautifully. Um, by beautifully, I mean fabulous colours. I don't mean I've done a particularly cracking job caking it up. So I'm making some gloves which will have the tips missing from the top of the index finger and the thumb so that when I'm turning a page or using my phone or whatever, um, I will be able to do that. And a bit of a new um, technique for me, I cast on using German twisted cast on for the first time. Um, I realise that's a very popular cast on. A lot of people will be thinking, you've never done that before. But I hadn't, and now I have. And I rather like it because it's, as those of you who use it know, that it's stretchy, but it's not, it doesn't flare out. So, all good. So this week has been mainly work. Um, yes, I've had five ceremonies. I have two, t sorry, I've had three already. I have five this week. I have two today. And, uh, yes, soggy one. <laughs> Luckily, uh, none of my ceremonies are for burials. They are for cremation, so we haven't got to stand outside in this weather, which I have done before. You know, that's that's the lot of uh, anyone who works sometimes outside. Um, but no, we'll be in the dry, so that's good. Uh, and then this evening I'm out with some friends, uh, going around someone's house for some food, so that would be good fun. Um... The other thing which I will show you briefly later is the lovely elf wanted her stash to be shared among knitting group and uh, the lovely Claire who uh, took charge of the yarn um, delivered some round to me yesterday so it's lovely yarn it's just not the way we'd ever want to get it. <laughs> But how kind that she wanted it, us to to have dibs. So, so yes, it's uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know what to say about that really. So I'll stop. Um, this weekend, um, himself is away. There is a, a bonfire, but I don't think I'm going to be doing it. The problem is we have to be away for quite a few hours and obviously the dog is my consideration when himself isn't around. So, um, also this particular event, um, this weekend it's the bonfire at Battle, and Battle Bonfire, or as it's known by all the locals, Battle Bonfire um, is very, very busy usually. And Battle is a lovely little town, but when it gets busy, it can get quite claustrophobic and it can feel a little too much for me. I don't mind kind of groups of people. Gosh, it's rain. 
Um, but it just feels a little dangerous. It, you know, it feels if you have people pressing in on you on all sides. Um, when I did Battle Bonfire once before, um, just trying to get away from where we'd finished drumming to to where we were being offered a free drink, um, you know, priorities. It took ages just to move through the crowd because everyone is so tightly packed in, and I. I find that a little unnerving, a little disconcerting. Um, yeah, I, I'm going to stay at home with my dog. The other thing, the other thought is because it is actually the 5th on Saturday, so bonfire night in the UK, um, there will probably be lots of fireworks going off, people having private displays, ones near a home, that sort of thing. And although Heidi is pretty okay with bonfires uh, with fireworks she's she's not absolutely terrified obviously it is noise and you want to be there to to kind of keep things warm and cozy and reassuring so that's the other reason why I shall stay at home with my little puppy so that's it for the moment and I will show you my finished jacket and my lovely inherited yarn stash in a little while. Hello lovelies. So I've got two lots of things to show you. Um, both mentioned in the bit recorded in the car. And this is the stuff that Jude and the elf have kindly distributed among the folks of our knitting group. Uh, care of the lovely Claire who was courier on this bless her so yeah just lovely things that I'd rather have the elf here than have the things but I should go through them because she wanted us to have them and they are to be used and enjoyed so a bit of a random assortment including a pom-pom maker always a good thing to have in life this gorgeous bag which has cats on it and the cats are different types of kind of fabric including knitted fabric um, I don't know who has made the bag I can't see a label but it is a lovely one and it's a good size so it will be used and then just an assortment of yarn so um, what Jude and Claire have done is there were some things that they, they just said, that's clearly, you know, that's going to suit that person, that's going to suit that person in the group because of the colours we like. I present to you neons. <laughs> um, so there's that. But they also did some bundles of stuff. And I thought I would go outside of my usual sort of comfort colours because normally I go for the reds and the purples and the blues. But there was a bundle of sort of pale greens which I thought would be rather nice. So we've got some Cascade 220. And the thing is, when you when you know someone and then you inherit their stash, it brings back memories of their projects. So I know that one of the crochet blankets that the elf made um, was made out of Cascade 220. So I'm guessing this may have been one of the, the skeins bought for that. She did banish, finish the blanket. It's not got a gap like a jigsaw piece sticking out of it because this is here um in fact i think this may have been her main color on that particular blanket um which would explain why you know there was one spare perhaps i've also got some stranded colors here um and jude did say that some of these are kind of like seconds that his mum had so this is a zooming home for Christmas. And these are rare. These are like hen's teeth. I mean, you know. <laughs> but uh, I don't know what any of the bases are. This is a four ply weight, I can tell. For, you know, fingering weight. I don't know what it is. Feels quite soft, so could be a merino, merino nylon. But, um, yeah, so there's that. This is also is it vintage Christmas I'm not sure but a Christmas yarn or possibly a second from 
the Christmas. Mm. Not that I would consider it a second because look at it, it's gorgeous. But I know that Jude's standards are incredibly high. Uh, his birthday shop update, bit of shameless promotion for Jude here, is this Saturday, which is the 5th of November. I'm not sure what time. You'll probably have seen his update anyway. Um, yeah, so he's got his birthday update this year. Worldwide free shipping if you spend more than £60 sterling. And also a discount... Um, now, I've just watched this. Uh, he, he sells packs of liquor needles. And as Stranded is seven years old this year, he's taking £7 off the price of those sets. So that's that. Um, yeah, so there's some... Of his, one of his earlier Christmas yarns. This also um, is in a similar kind of palette, but with whereas this has got the reds in it, this has got yellows. So, I mean, whether these are one of a kind, whether these are experiments, whether these are other yarns altogether, I don't know. Um, so, we've got some pretty, looks like a patisserie in that field in that sort of area we've got a couple of solids or semi-solids we've got a red here and this nice green and then this is quite a rustic yarn i mean it almost feels like a, a hand dyed um so i don't know the the provenance of this but uh yeah so i've got a a bundle of yarn here as you know, it's it's my fate often to receive yarn from people who are no longer with us. And uh, I'm always very grateful to, to give it a good home and to, to make use of it. But, um, yeah, it's not, not a nice way to build your stash. So. So that's that. Like I said, we'll go through it all in more detail rather than just go, oh, look, it's this. You know, I'll do it all for the, the month end podcast. Also for the month end podcast, I will talk about my finished object. Let's end this week's podcast on an upbeat. Uh, and this is the... Let me have a quick look on Ravelry. I know it's by Pearl, Pearl Soho. It is the classic knit jacket pattern. Uh, which is a super bulky, so therefore super quick pattern. And I will just take my squeaky chair back for a moment to show you it. I haven't blocked it. I only finished it last night. Um, it's curling a bit. I don't know if I'm going to block it or press it because I'm not sure what the yarn is. Um, as I said before, it feels quite heavy, almost as if it's got cotton in it. Um, there's a stitch marker on it from when I last recorded about it. Um, but yeah, I cored around all the edges and I left a gap uh, when casting off, when doing the I-cord edge up there. Incoherence. I will be coherent for month end. But basically I left a buttonhole because I knew I had some large blue buttons. It's got a wider neck than I was uh, expecting. Also got a thread board there, so we'll get rid of that. Um, and looking at the picture, the pattern picture, either the model has an exceptionally wide neck, or this is something that perhaps came a little bit wide with um, the sizing up, the scaling up. But we'll see what it's like when I've pressed it slash blocked it, and I'll try it on again then and take some photographs. It is all the same colour. And the yarn is by Texair, which is a company that uh, is no longer in existence. It's their Snazzy 45 Bluebell Loops and Gimps. Yeah. And I used three strands held together to get the gauge for the pattern. The in pattern initially says uh, to be knitted on a US 15, which is a 10 millimeter needle. I got gauge on a seven millimeter needle, so uh, that's what I've done. So that be that, and that's that done. 
nice to have a finished object finished. That was an appalling sentence. Nice to finish something is what I was trying to say. So maybe I'll stop making uh, wearing commercial. No, I won't. I like this jacket. I like this cardigan. I wear it a lot because I like it. I might try and make something similar to it. That's kind of in here, but we shall see. I'm going to end it here because I feel like I've witted on a lot over the last couple of days. Um, but I hope you're all well. Thank you again for all your comments and your thoughts. I do love to hear from you. Um, those who watch the uh, Month End podcast seem particularly uh, in agreement with my comment on very arty knitting magazine photography. Um, <laughs> I'm glad it's not just me. Thank you for for also having a similar sensibilities. So what does this week hold? This weekend, um, yep, himself is away, so me and the dog, so I shall be knitting. And then I'm taking a couple of weeks off work. Uh, I have no ceremonies lined up in my diary at the moment, which is a little bit scary because usually when I'm taking time off, there's something lined up for when I come back. Um, so at the moment, I'm wandering around going, I'm never going to work again. I don't think that will be the case, but it is a little bit scary. It's the, that kind of self-employed, what if everybody hates me feeling? Um, <laughs> or as uh, a friend of mine used to sing, because I used to say it often, I'm never going to work again, but I will. It's OK. Um, so what am I doing with my time off, apart from clearing my head of all kind of funeral related things? Um, I'm doing a course, which I will talk about next week. And then the week after that, I've got some time away with some friends, which I'm very, very much looking forward to. So I'm hoping to get lots of crafting done and Christmas prep, basically. Sorry to to bring that word into the conversation this early in November um, but I will be writing lyrics for songs and that sort of thing whatever you're doing I hope you're having a lovely time I hope you're able to do things that bring you happiness or give you a sense of achievement because you've got things finished um, and that you are keeping well so thank you all for being here thank you for your comments thank you for your support and thanks for all the the kindness that has been shown over the last few weeks it is very much appreciated and i'll see you again hopefully next week thanks everyone take care bye bye <laughs>